Welcome Mage, I'm Rhino, and today we are going to be doing a dead tech around Grumgrawly the Generous. But before we get into that dead tech, we have a project to give away 100 new command decks to new players. And I'm going to thank Magic Kids, Legion Supplies, and our patrons, and the people that and, and card donations, and Project MDG, Charles Waite, Joran Cole, and Panda. I want to thank them so much for supporting this. And now, on to the deck deck. Grum Gully the Generous is a mm, really fast deck because it's 2.28 in converted mana cost and it's only $8. What does Grum Gully do? It gives a woman counter to every. Mm, Creature that enters the battlefield uh, under your control. Any non human. We got Rogalaki. <laughs> it's really, really cheap because it mm, costs only zero. It's first strike, madness, and trample. If it comes after mm, Grum Gully, it mm, comes out as a 1 2. That can get bigger. We got uh, 35 mm, creatures. And, oh look, we got Goblin Banneret. I did a video about this card. Right about here. What Mentor does is whenever it attacks, and you give a one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. We got things in here that have Riot and Winners. Uh, you can either give it haste, or you can give it a one encounter. You generally want to give it a one encounter. Mm, we have a Mardu Scout as Dash, and so it, no, you can uh, bring it out. Uh, for its dash cost, and, uh, as haste, and, uh, and then it, mm, and then you return it to your hand. No, we have a mm, palm bright druid, and, uh, mm, proliferate. Is really important in this deck because you put an extra woman counter on it, each creature and that has a woman counter. And Feral Animist, I you uh, you can double it over and over again which is really fun to have pride malkin uh it gives every creature with a woman counter on it trample so this is really fun to have in this deck fairgrounds mm, trumpeteer uh, it gets really big 
really quick. Bloom Hulk. Oh. And once again, it, you proliferate uh, when it enters the battlefield. Ivy Lane Denzian. Uh, it, it enters. Uh, whenever another green creature enters, uh, you put a woman counter on a, another creature. Nightly is Forerunner. Other creatures you control get trampled. And so all your creatures get trampled. Later in the game, uh, if an opponent uh, was dealt damage, it comes in as a 9 9. Uh, and it has trample. Okay, let's see what other index. We have Bargen. So, uh, you play this whenever you're attacking. And each non-human gets trampled. So pretty much all your creatures. Mm. Mm. Life Crafter's gift is an almost proliferate. You put a woman counter on a creature, and you uh, mm, put a woman counter on a. a mm. On it, each creature you control with woman count. Yeah, we have Goblin War Party. Yeah, you uh, create three yeah, one one goblins. And you can do the entwine, and creatures you control gain haste. And plus one, plus one. Iron is a blessing. Uh, when it enters, you deal four damage into target creature, and then pun controls. I uh, and enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. So you want to put it on your commander. Animation module. I uh, whenever one or more you know, woman counters are put on a creature, and you create a servo, and then you just. Keep doing the cycle over and over. As long as you have mana. Weapon rack. I when it enters uh with three woman counters on it, and then you can move counters onto a, a creature. And the lands are basic. Uh, yeah, we have Rogue's Passage in here. Now let's go on to uh, the budget upgrades. Slurk mm, uh, removes mm, uh, counters mm, from uh, your dying creatures. And we have a... Uh, and uh, seven of the scale. It's pretty similar. So each spell that's red or green 
It costs one less to cast. Proud Wild Bonder was also mm, one of my preview cards. You can see that right up here. We have a lot of trample in here. And I mean, like, mm, creatures with trample, you can deal all of the damage. And to your opponent. Urban Dagger Tooth. Uh, as in rage. And, when it, and whenever it's dealt damage. You proliferate. <laughs> and. Her Baloth. Whenever one or more counters are upon it. You would. And create a 4 4 beast. So that's really neat. Awakening of Victor Gazi. You put 9 encounters on target land you control. Yeah, it doesn't get the air in the battlefield trigger. But it's a 9-9. With Smell Fear, you proliferate first. And then you get one of your creatures and to fight a creature you don't control. Impact Tremors. Is really fun to have out because whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. A song of Fraley's. I uh, until your next turn, creatures you control and gain and add one man of any color. And at the third encounter, uh, all your creatures get mm, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Rhythm of the Wild. Creatures you control can't be countered. And non-token creatures you control have Riot. And you probably know what Riot does. I just growth. When it enters, uh, with a plus one plus one counter on enchanted creature. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you double the one one counters. So it can get really big. Outpost Siege. Uh, you can choose cons or mm, dragons. You probably want to choose dragons because whenever mm, one of your creatures leaves the battlefield, uh, you can ping something for one. There's Zhang Yanggu. And each mm, creature mm, uh, you control with a woman counter on it has a can tap for mana. And there's Con Bastion. You can do four and proliferate. And there's Ornery Vastwood. And you can tap it. Each green creature that entered the battlefield this turn gets another counter. So tell me in the comments below, what upgrades would you put in? And I have more videos coming out soon. 
Santo then, Rhino out.